Welcome back to phonics first graders. I hopefully you have your phonics paper. I had to get a new paper because I used my other one both sides on Monday and Tuesday. And um, you are sitting up straight. Your chair's tucked all the way underneath your body. Your stomach is touching your desk and your back of your back is touching your chair. As always, we're holding our paper. We're about to do our best handwriting that we can do. The first sound is O. Oh. Say it with me. O. Oh. Please write the O oh that comes that's used in the word toe. Write the O oh that's used in the word toe. That is my O E. And goodness gracious, wouldn't you know it? My O oh is hanging down. So I'm going to cross that one out and try again. No big deal. That's what our practicing is for. O E. So I say O oh, used in toe. O oh, used in toe. All right, go ahead and pause if you're not at the end of the line. Our next sound is O. Oh. Go ahead and say it. O. Oh. Go ahead and write it. And this is the O that's used in the word boat. Write the O that's used in the word boat. That is my O A. Making sure I start at two o'clock, around the clock, back up to two, two o'clock, around the clock, back up to two, pulling straight down with a tiny tent. I say O used in boat. O used in boat. Okay, if you are not at the end of the line, go ahead and push pause and finish the line. Our next sound is ow o. -oh. Say it with me. Ow o. -oh. Go ahead and write it. Ow o. -oh. So we have O and our W, making sure my W is touching all three points up here and both points at the bottom. And I go, ow, O, ow, O. And once again, my W is so fat that I don't really have enough room to do another one. Go ahead and push pause if you're still working on this row. And our next sound is E-I. Say it with me. E-I. Go ahead and write it. E-I. So that's my I-E starting at the dotted line, pulling straight down. Pick up your pencil, tiny dot, straight across, up and around the clock. So I have I-E says E-I. So let's say the sound is E I. E I. All right, if you are not at the end of the line, no big deal. Go ahead and push pause. Our next sound is E. Say it with me. E. Go ahead and write it. E. So we have E. E. Says E. So we go straight across, up, and around the clock. Straight across, up, and around the clock. So E, E says E. I think I can fit one more in here. E, E says E. All right. Go ahead and pause the video if you are not to the end of the line. And our last sound for today is E, E, A. Say it with me. E, E, A. Go ahead and write it. E, E, A. E, E, A. So I go straight across from my E, up and around the clock, stopping at four. Starting at two o'clock, around the clock, up to the dotted line, down to the baseline. E, E, A. E, E, A. E, E, A. All right, if you are not at the end of the line yet, no big deal. Go ahead and push pause. 
we are about to work on our sentence for today. Our sentence says, The bow is on my toe. Again, it's a silly sentence. The bow, say it with me, the bow is on my toe. Let's count it out. The bow is on my toe. That is six words. So at the end, we need to make sure we have six words. It's also a regular statement. We're not asking a question. I'm not excited. It's the bow is on my toe. So that will be a period. Let's sound everything out. The, that's a sight word. You should know how to spell that. It comes at the beginning of a sentence, so I expect to see a capital T. Bow, so we want to go b, o, use b, and use the two letters that say ow, o. It will be the second sound, ow, o. The bow is, now this is a sight word, but we'll go ahead and spell it out, i, z. Now you're going to use i, i, and you're going to use s, z. It's actually the second sound. So i, i, and s, z is on. On. Use a, o, u, and use n. On. My. My is also a sight word, but we'll sound it out. M, i. Now use m, and use y, i, I. We just learned this one a couple weeks ago. Ya, I, I. So which letter says ya, I, I? Hmm. Ya, I, I. Okay. My toe. T. O. Use T. And use the O that comes in the word toe. The bow is on my toe. Go ahead and pause the video until you're all done writing your sentence. The bow is on my toe. Okay, my friends. If you are listening to this video right now, that means you have your whole sentence written out. Now it's time to put on your teacher hat, put it on, and we're going to correct our work. If you make a mistake, go ahead and fix it. If you get something right, you get to put a star. The, making sure that we're starting with a capital T, it's the beginning of a sentence. T-H-E, if you wrote capital T, H-E, give yourself a star or a smiley. If not, please write it now. The finger space bow. I said do b, making sure your b is facing in the right direction. O, and I said it's two letters, and it says ow o. So we want to use ow o, and it's not the bow; it's the bow. This is the second sound of o w. So I'm going to put a little two there so that my reader knows that I'm using the second sound. If you put B-O-W, bow, give yourself a star or smiley. The bow is, I said use I, I, and I said use S, Z, is. This is the second sound of S. If you wrote I, S, is, give yourself a star or smiley. The bow is on. Ah. Uh, mm. If you wrote O N on, give yourself a star or smiley. If not, go ahead and write it now. The bow is on my. Mm. And I said use Y I I E. The Y I I E is a Y. And it is Y I I. I, the third sound, mm, I, it's the third sound of Y, on, the bow is on my, give yourself a star or a smiley if you wrote the word my, M-Y, the last word is toe, I said do t, 
And then I said use O that comes in the word toe, which is O-E. If you wrote T-O-E, toe, like the toe on your foot, give yourself a star or a smiley. Let's double count. The bow is on my toe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And last but not least, this is a regular statement. It should have a period. If you remember to put a small period on the baseline, give yourself a star or smiley. If not, go ahead and write it now. All right, first graders, I can tell that you are so smart and you totally know our OW that says O, our OE that says O, and even our OA that says O. Here it is, OA. All right, first graders, I will see you next time.